what's actually going on in the brain of a child that has autism. I'm going to compare the differences of what we currently know based off of the research of what the brain of a child with autism is looking like and function like in comparison to what a neurotypical child's uh, brain looks like and how it's developing. So what we know is that um, in the first year of life, in the first couple of years of life, there's what's called a neural, neuronal migration or where these neurons in the um, white matter areas are actually migrating to the higher cortex and to higher levels of the brain. And what we know in comparison between uh, a child that has autism and a neurotypical child is those neurons don't migrate appropriately. So over here, you see as the brain matures, those um, neurons that should be in this lower area actually start migrating to these higher cortical layers. And in autism, we don't see that same migration pattern happening. Um, also, what we see is in a, um, a neurotypical child, we see a lot more connectivity, a lot more density of neurons and synapses. And compared to the brain of a child that has autism, we see a lot less, especially in these higher cortical areas. And what we also know is that they may have less connectivity and less migration in certain areas, but maybe they have over connectivity in other areas, another aspect that we're finding out in children that have autism.